What's going on everybody? David here. Today we're talking about the Chase Freedom card and the Chase Freedom Unlimited and at the very end I'm going to tell you which one I like the best. But first off on this channel we talk about inspiring people to travel more using points. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at these both these cards and they, they set it up great for us. So they have the cards both here so we can look at them side by side. Uh, and the first thing I always look at is the annual fee. So with both of these cards are cashback cards, they have zero annual fee. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the next thing I like to look at is the earn possibility. Now the earn possibility on both these cards are a little bit different. Uh, the earn possibility on the, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you're going to get unlimited 1.5 points for every dollar spent. So for any for all of your spend, you're getting 1.5 uh, so not a bad not a bad deal. This is one of those filler cards. So if you have other credit cards that you earn points with, let's say you earn points with the gas category, groceries, dining, you can use the Chase Freedom Unlimited card for other things like electronics or something where you can't get more than one point for every dollar spent. Uh, so it's really good when it comes to that. Uh, your points do not expire, so that's another good thing. So looking at the Chase Freedom card, you have five points for every dollar spent in rotating categories. So that's pretty nice. Let's look at the calendar here. Uh, what I don't like about their calendar, uh, if you compare their calendar to Discover It, like the Discover It card, you also get five points for every dollar spent. And with the Discover It card, what I like about that is it'll show you the whole calendar for the whole year. So you'll be able to see, okay, it's going to be Walmart and Target uh, this quarter, and then it's going to be gas stations and whatever, what have you on this quarter and restaurants in this quarter. So you can kind of plan ahead because there's certain purchases that I'll, that I'll think about making. Um, they do have a cap. So it's a $1,500 cap every quarter. So I might think, okay, uh, when is Costco? When can I go to Costco? <laughs> what quarter is that? So I might withhold from making like large purchases. Let's say if I want to get plates and things like that, I might withhold from doing that just because I know the next month I'll be able to go in uh, to Costco and really maximize that $1,500. Uh, so I like the fact that the Discover It card does this the Freedom Card does not. So all they're going to show you is right now it's gas stations, uh, internet, cable, and phone services, and then and then select streaming services. And then the next month from April to June they haven't showed you yet. It's just gonna, it's coming soon, right? Uh, so I don't I don't really like that. I want them to show me everything. That way I can I can uh, have a strategy on how I'm going to spend my money. Uh, other things here, so you, the the points don't expire as well. Uh, with this card now as far as the sign up bonus with this card this is pretty interesting you're going to get two hundred dollars this is for both cards you're going to get a two hundred dollar sign up bonus that's after spending five hundred dollars within the first three months this is a great card for people just getting into rewards credit cards because it's the sign up bonus the minimum spend is not very high it's five hundred dollars so most of us can can spend five hundred dollars within a three month period and you get that two hundred dollars so that's not bad so that's like twenty thousand points uh, so that's pretty decent. And if you have in the future, if you want to get one of the other cards, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or the Chase Inc. Business Preferred, well, now you have a pathway where you can transfer your points. So I can transfer these 20,000 points up to the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, or the Chase Business Inc. Preferred, and then use it for travel. So that's what's really, really good about uh, both of these cards. So you have the sign-up bonus there. Okay, other benefits on this card, you get that low APR there for the, the 15 months. I don't recommend doing that. Just, I mean, if, if you really have to, if you have a large amount of money somewhere and you need to transfer that in from another credit card and, and try to pay it off, you have to be really, really disciplined and pay it off because you look at the interest rate once it will go into effect and it's really high. So you don't want to mess around with that. Uh, we already talked about the zero annual fee. Uh, built-in protections. Okay, this is really good. And I always go down to the purchase protection because I think that is the most valuable, uh, one of the most valuable things that you can get with a, with a credit card. You should always make your purchases, large purchases, especially if it's electronics and things like that. Use your credit card to make that purchase because not only will you get purchase protection, which will cover you for 120 days for lost, damaged, or stolen, but you also get extended warranties. So let's say, uh, and this is up, it says, uh, three years or less. So basically, if you have a three-year warranty, then you're going to get an additional year uh, just for using your credit card. So it makes sense. Always have the cash in the bank. And so you're not just, just overspending. So you have the cash there waiting. You want to buy a new washer dryer. You have the cash in the bank. And all you're doing is using that credit card to make the transaction. And then you're paying it all off. Uh, once you once you make the transaction, just so it shows up on that card. That way, if you have any issues in the future, 
you can you can have them taken care of uh, through your through your credit card. So if you do have that washer dryer and it's going good for that that first year and you have that one year warranty and then that second year you start having issues with it, well, guess what? You you're still covered when it comes to most things. Not everything. Warranty is limited, but I'm just saying you do have additional warranty there, so that's good. Okay, so the new partners they're showing them here. Uh, you're going to get DoorDash. You're going to get a complimentary three months. Uh, so that is a zero delivery uh, fee. Uh, so that's good. Um, now with Lyft, you're getting five points for every dollar spent, and that's through March uh, 2020. So that's pretty good. So overall, I mean, both cards are really good. I, I like both cards. Uh, I have, I don't have either of these cards. I actually have the business versions of these cards. So you have the Chase Inc. Unlimited and then the Chase Inc. Cash Card. Uh, so... I, I prefer the Chase Freedom. I like I like the categories. I like the rotating categories. So if I were looking at either card, getting uh, either one of these cards, I would go with the rotating categories. I just, I like the fact that you get five points for every dollar spent. You can kind of really maximize on those points during the during the during those quarters. So that, that works for me. I'm not a big fan. Like I have the, the Chase Inc. Unlimited. I use that, I very rarely use that card because I'm always able to find ways to maximize my points using uh, some of the other cards that I have. But more importantly, I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about either card? Which one would you get over, over the other? Please let us know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And check out these videos over here for some more great content. Talk to you later. Bye.